Hey, my beautiful Cancerians, it's Kim Enchantress here from Sydney, Australia. I'm here to do a general reading for you guys. It is a love reading and it is Follow Your Heart uh, for March 2022. So we're going to look at um, the overall energy, which is the Eight of Summer. This is the kangaroo and it is telling me that you feel like there's something more to what you, you know, you're living at the moment. Something more to life here, Cancer. Time to move on, maybe to a drier land perhaps, uh, move away from a situation that wasn't good for you. I feel like, you know, there's an energy that's pulling you in a certain direction and it's time to take control of this. So that's beautiful. Time to move away from what you're actually doing. Now we have the heart here as a um, significator card and we have the key that's come up for you so whatever this relationship is it is very important romance for you cancer you know uh you've got the taurus energy here we've got the ring so you could be um married or engaged but this is um a love that's supposed to be enduring so whether you're moving away from your person or whether you're moving away together I'm going to just get right into that now. But I feel like, um, Cancer, you're a late bloomer here with the lily. Well, this could be a later in life romance. Maybe if you're single and you're moving away, you might meet the love of your life here. You know, uh, you've got a wise heart, Cancer, and you're going to, um, you know, that romantic bliss again is going to come within, within you. Maybe you haven't felt like being in a relationship for some of you. Um, I'm feeling this is a female lover, but definitely it's a big change in your life for you to commit and move away. Definitely um, something big for you, a big life changer. And this ending definitely was important for your spiritual journey. Now, I feel, you know, this is about keeping your word and commitment here especially because you've got the ring here I feel like um, you know uh, you're going to become happier in your older age definitely and you are a spiritual person who's committed pure and serene you've got a beautiful face and very uh, feminine and creative as well now You've got um, the Hermit here as the outcome. And it's saying take time for contemplation to retreat and go within. Be a beacon for others on their path of spiritual enlightenment. So I feel like, you know, this is about universal love. Love is one thing that every human being needs. And when you give out love, you shall receive it. You know, you'll receive love back in return. Now, this is uh, number nine, and it does show you that it's time for you to look at a relationship and marriage and evaluate whether you are on the right path or not. If you have been in a relationship and it's been lacking for some time, it's definitely time to awaken, uh, you know, by talking to your partner or your spouse or just sprucing, uh, sprucing up your love life because this number is a good sign for you um, with your relationships and marriage. It shows that everything's going to be okay in the end here, Cancer. So time to move away. You know, whether you're uh, on your own or you're with a couple. <clears throat> if you're a couple, you definitely got that enduring love. If you're single, you're definitely going to find someone special. So, um, yeah, time to contemplate and look at that move here, Cancer. So... All the very best to you guys. Love and blessings. Bye for now.